random disclaimer. Okay, so I had to delete this video. This is a re-upload. Uh, I had to take out one so one of the trailers because I'm using trailers in this in this video, and I am giving credit to the trailers. But I guess what YouTube says it's like, oh, it's not okay. So I'm gonna try this again, and if this uploads, then cool. Yeah, enjoy. Murray, you need to shut down the mixing system. Try disabling those vats. I got you, chum. The Murray is gonna rain destruction like a cloud of pain. Interesting analogy. What up? Loudy on the mic, and welcome back to Loud Fives. More like Loud Fours today, because I couldn't find a fifth contender. But basically, this is a show where I give my opinions on my top five, whatever. And today's topic is top four games I don't want to suck. Pause on that. But what I mean by I don't want them to suck, I don't I what I mean like what I mean by that, I don't want them to be hyped up like Assassin's Creed and Destiny and then come out a piece of trash. Like I want them to be perfect. Like no game is perfect, but I want them to be like, you know, this perfectly playable and it's enjoyable and I can have lots of fun. It's not not like too repetitive. Stuff like that. Now let's get into it. Number three. Mirror's Edge 2. I know it's not Mirror's Edge 2, but I'm going to call it that. Mirror's Edge. This new one looks absolutely beautiful. It looks like we got some new features going in. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I really enjoyed the the, um, the old Mirror's Edge. I played the first one. I enjoyed it a lot. I enjoyed running across skyscraping like buildings. I enjoyed being the crap out of people, taking their weapons and clearing out the entire room for like three, four, five guys with the guy, the gun I stole from the other guy. I enjoyed the heart racing uh, gameplay. Like a uh, perfect example, I'll be in, I'm like one of those people that do, that does not like to get chased. In a first-person game, in tight spaces, like those little rooms with the, those little hallways that was like really pretty tight that had the elevator at the end of the hallway, and I had to hurry up, press a button to get the elevator here, and then I had to press the button inside the elevator, and then it would be closing as those guys were like, just like a footstep from in the elevator with me. I enjoyed it a lot, and I hope that this new one does not is not as repetitive and doesn't like not repetitive. I just hope that the new one isn't, uh, you know, it doesn't resemble too much of the first one. Like, you know, it's re you can't, like, make a sec a sequel to a game and it not having no new features and stuff like that. That's will be just kind of unnecessary. Number two! You people speak of family like you know what that word means. Man, you already know Mafia 3 was about to appear on this list. Mafia 3? I've already made a video about Mafia 3. It was uh, my opinions in the hate train. And I say it was basically a whole bunch of, uh, like, a ton of salty-ass white people who just were just upset that another black man was making his mark in the world. Or it was just, like, a lot of people who were, like, you know, just really enjoy the Italian vibe in Mafia. But, um, Mafia 3, man, uh, another black man for to make his mark in the gaming community. Like, uh, CJ, General Shepard, James Heller from Prototype 2, stuff like that. I'm really hyping this game up. Because it looks fun and also is in my hometown, New Orleans, Louisiana, around the time my parents were kids. So I'm hyped for that. That's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, Mafia 3. I'm, pr I'm praying that this game was good. Number one! We know. We weren't the first ones here. Our stories speak of the ones that came before. The old ones.
finally we reached number one. Number one coming in number one is Horizon Zero Dawn. Now, when this game first popped up in my sub boxes, I uh, clicked it. Uh, I and it immediately woed me. Like I dig the storytelling, how everything went like this and that, and I dig uh, the natives. Like it's like Assassin Creed's three natives with futuristic born arrows fighting robot dinosaurs. That's like Kingdom Hearts, Disney with Final Fantasy characters. It's crazy enough to work, and I dig it. This game is work is is working it like Beyonce and Nicki on stage. Like what? This game is automatically one, probably one of the best games at E3 besides Fallout 4. Was one of the best games at E3, and I just it just wowed me. I just dig the I just dig like the combat, the gameplay, the atmosphere of the game. The game was beautiful, and it's coming out next year, and I can't wait for it. It's uh, automatically one of the games I really hope does not fail. I hope it doesn't suck. I just hope it's this game. I just hope this game is perfect. No game is perfect. I've already said that. But I'm just hoping that it's at least close to there. Like, ugh. It's just it is so beautiful. And we get a new character, y'all. New female character. New uh, female character to add to uh, the list of heroines. Like, Laura Craft, The chicks from Assassin's Creed. You know, Samus, Metroid, what? Yeah, I can't wait for it. And, uh, yeah, that's my list. Thank you all for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I have links in the description to social media and my other two channels. And also, if you want to, leave in the comment section on what games you don't want to fail, what you're anticipated for. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Bye!